Myeloma arises as a cancer that is a growth, abnormal growth of cells that are a normal part of our immune system. We call them plasma cells. Plasma cells, their role is to produce uh, antibodies that protect us from infection. With COVID now, everyone knows about antibodies, right? So they form antibodies. Antibodies are little protein tags that our immune system uses to first fight off and also alert the rest of our immune system that something is wrong. And, you know, it's, it's a very elegant way by which our body protects itself. The plasma cells are the most mature forms of a family of cells that we call the B cells. And, you know, when they're seniors in high school, those are the plasma cells they are ready to produce antibodies. When we go in life, when we go through life, um, you know, babies find new infections, etc. they have to build an immune response. And the only way they can do that is by having those B cells be mutating all the time, which sounds strange. A perfectly healthy baby has cells that are mutating all the time. But once they find the right product, the right antibody, then we keep a copy of that cell as a blueprint. So if in the future, you know, you're challenged again with the same infection, you already have that blueprint, you can mount a, a quick immune response. The process for that is, is very unforgiving. And what I mean by that, if any of those cells deviates a little bit from what they're supposed to do, the body disposes of them, they're not allowed to survive. But this happens so many times that every now and then in that process of that mutation, one of the cells goes, you know, through the quality process and becomes what ultimately leads to multiple myeloma. There is nothing that we know that causes myeloma. So I tell patients, there's nothing you did or you didn't do that made you have, have myeloma. I think it's most, uh, mostly an accident in nature. Uh, and that occurs just because there's little tiny hiccups, a typo, if you may, when those cells were producing antibodies that led to the formation of that first cell that leads to multiple myeloma.